And we're back. Any ideas for a last short segment? Last call for a short segment here. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. not sure. I can't think of it at the moment. We don't have to do one if you don't want. You can just look it's at the fine. look at the candles in my toucan Sam here. <laughs> I'll find one, Professor. Don't worry. Oh, we're gonna try one. Definitely. Okay. Is it okay if we do the same exam too? I, I, that's only absolutely. Oh, well, it makes one. that sure makes it easy for me. You know that. Yeah, I'll get it up here. Where did I put it? I put it here. Oh, we're not sharing screens yet, though. Uh, here we are. Share screen. Say goodbye to Toucan Sam. Nice to learn the corner. And same exam. So for like question five. Question five, uh, multiple choice. Or no, question five, part four. Part Short four, answer. number five. Yes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> You're going to make me do I don't think we got time to do one of those. I mean, we could. I can go over the second, part? the second part. Like B? Yeah. Uh, EFG. Oh, EFG. Sure. Absolutely. Let's do that. Yeah, it takes a little less time. Just, uh, yeah, we did one of those like the other day. No, I agree. Okay. Yeah, let's do one of these because, you know, I like... You look at the last three exams. I think this some version of tetrahydropyran shows up in each one. It's never quite the same, is it? All right. So there we go. Monosaccharide has a chair conformation. So yeah, sugars and chairs. That's the main reason we learn chairs is for our monosac for studying sugars at the end of Chem 242. And I bring it up then, and they just groan. And they just groan. And they say, why? There we go. Fall 20, test one. Uh, part two. This one's not obvious. It's part four. Not yet. All right. Monosaccharide is a chair conformation with axial hydroxyl groups on positions two and five. So basically, we just want to start by making that into a chair. And why is it doing this to me? Okay. And if we want to make atom number one, the top right corner, just remember there's an O in that corner. And then you do all your chair things from the inside positions more than halfway in parallel lines not a bad chair for late in the night and then uh carbons i'm gonna put i'm just gonna put the axials on right now they follow the carbon angles and then the equatorials if the axial is slightly down the equatorial is slightly up and if the axial straight up, the equatorial slightly down, don't go this way because it's the wrong slightly down. And then so for the- uh, There's the equatorial. correct slightly down because it has to be parallel to that and that. And then equatorial here and here and there. So there's all the bonds. Now let's figure out what goes where. Uh, we have axial hydroxyls on positions two and five, remember, if you don't number it, you might forget where you're at. They go clockwise in the picture up there, clockwise down here, and position six is here. All right, uh, which of these bonds is the axial bond? Well, all the axials are red in ours. So two has a hydroxyl, and the green stick, don't leave a green stick. Does it say there's methyls in this molecule? It does not. Please fill in those sticks with H's. Okay. Uh, also on carbon five, axial is the up bond this time. I want to change the color of OH for some reason. And don't forget, this is H. And it also has equatorial hydroxyls on positions three and four. Three and four. Oh, they're both green this time.
ends of sticks H's. And it says it has an axial carboxylic acid group off of position six. Which of those two is axial? The red one. How do you draw it? What's the short form for a carboxylic acid? It doesn't ask for a Lewis structure. You can do CO2H to the right or to the left. I have a little more room to the left. That's why I'm doing it this way. And there you go. So there's one of your chairs. And this thing is constantly flipping or doing sigma rotations to go back and forth. I don't even know what arrows to use. This implies there's reactions going backwards and forwards, which is misleading. Uh, the other arrow was a resonance arrow, implies that electrons are flowing in the molecule. It's misleading. There's no real good arrows here. So I'll just put something there or just draw the two chairs. I don't need arrows. And the other chair, can you, can you tell me where you should put atom number one this time? On the bottom you, right. Yeah, if you said top right, I'd say you're in a lot of trouble. You're, you're going to get less than half credit on the whole question. And I never explained why in my last video, why you shouldn't choose the bottom or the top right for both. Uh, if you choose this and then carbon two is here, then the axial is still down. You can't have axial still down. You need to go to a, you know, so they, things change. One, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, do the axials now. We'll do them in uh, green. Uh, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Now, I'm going to tell you something I see a lot of times. Students forget the nature of oxygen when they come to this question and they want to put the axials and equatorials off the oxygens. And then they start making oxygen have three or four bonds. Please don't do that. If you want, if you want that discussion to continue, you can argue that there's an axial lone pair sticking straight down and an equatorial lone pair sticking straightly up, slightly up, and you'd be correct but I don't need to see lone pairs. Does it say to the Lewis structures here? No, it does not. So just leave the O as is. Uh, I did the axials first and now I'm gonna do equatorials. Slightly down, slightly up, slightly down, slightly up. Ooh, that doesn't look parallel to three and four, does it? Oh, my machine's so harsh. And they, never do them. Them they always have to be parallel to the next next to one. the next yeah. next i like the way you said that so yeah use that as an example that needs to be parallel not to the next but the next and they are similar to story the other way right not this one but this one those two are parallel and there and remember when you go to two whatever was up here needs to be up here so up h down OH, but now the OH is equatorial, isn't it? And up H on three and down OH on three and up OH on four, but now it's, oops, it's green. Up OH on four, you don't have to do colors people. And down H on four and up OH on five, and down H on five and six has an up H and a down o, uh, CO2H. And just count up your axials and equatorials for your groups. Uh, how many axial groups here? One axial group here, two axial groups here, three axial groups, three ax and two EQ. Uh, this is EQ and this is EQ. And you don't count the basic hydrogen ones, correct? No, hydrogens are tiny. They don't, they don't have a critical demand to be equatorial. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this one, we have the uh, two ax, two ax, two ax, yeah, here, you put them in green. They used to be equatorial. Oh, there two acts in green. They're on carbons three and four, right? 
and three EQs in red. So which one has more groups equatorial? The one on the right. The one on the right. And you'll say suffers from less one three diaxial repulsion. Suffers, just how about keep it real short, less one three diaxial repulsion. And the end of the story. Good segment. Took us a little over time. Oh, you guys, you guys owe me six minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was worth it, I think. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good session. I'll post these tonight and I'm going to, I'm going to be busy tonight. I'll be posting your problem set too. I just have to tweak it. It's almost ready. So look for that and uh, look for, Hey guys, uh, it's week before test. Uh, well, I'll do Zoom videos. I, you guys don't have to be there. You ask me a nice question on um, in an email and you want it done on a Zoom. I mean, you don't even have to be there. I can do a Zoom without people there. I've already done it. It's not a big deal. Do you have like a scheduled time you're thinking or no? Uh, nah, tomorrow is not the time I'm giving two makeup finals for a Yes, I'll be semester. there. Oh, that's right. That's you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you'll be for one of them. But tomorrow's a disaster day for me. I'm at school for 14 hours <laughs> or 15, I think. And uh, so wish me luck. But uh, after that, Friday, I, I can do a video sometime Friday. Sneak it in between walks okay. or whatever. Just any good question that you think deserves a Zoom, we'll get a Zoom and hopefully they help. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank all you. right. We got all, we got our work cut out for us now. Take care. Say bye to Sam.